This lesson describes the Flash Professional CS6 welcome screen and its features. So here we have Flash Pro CS6 opened up, and we don't have any projects open up this time. Because of that, we're presented with this little screen here known as the welcome screen. The welcome screen is meant to be a gateway to the application that allows quick access to common tasks. So running through these tasks here, we can see that we have the ability to create elements from a template. And there's all sorts of different templates here targeting advertising, Air for Android, animation, banners, and so on. If we click more down at the bottom here, we're actually presented with all of these different templates that we have. So some of these pieces here actually show off some of the features in Flash Professional, like this IK Stickman sample. This is actually going to create a project for us in which we can see exactly how inverse kinematics works in Flash Pro. So if we close this, we're again presented with the welcome screen. So this reveals a few of the more recent items that we've worked on within Flash Professional. So you can see here too that it'll record any type of document type that's able to be opened in Flash. So I have both an XFL file and an FLA file here. It doesn't really matter what it is. We can also click this open dialog here and that'll bring up a file browser for which we can go and find a file to open within Flash Professional. The second column allows us to create a number of different document types. We can choose from ActionScript 3, ActionScript 2, and these are the most common ones. These will create new Flash documents for us that target either ActionScript 3 or version 2. We can also target Air, Air for Android, Air for iOS, or Flashlight. In addition to these document types, we can also create ActionScript files, Flash JavaScript files, a Flash project, which is a grouping of different files. And we also have templates for the ActionScript 3.0 class and ActionScript 3.0 interface. So for instance, if I choose this, we can give it a name, let's call it main, and we want this class to be editable within Flash Professional. So we'll hit OK. And you can see that it stubs out a nice class for us here with the package, the class definition, and the uh, initializer function here. So closing this, we'll be presented once again with the welcome screen. And you can see here that we have a link that basically will go to the web browser and bring us to the Flash Exchange. We'll be able to download a number of different extensions here to be installed to extend Flash in various ways. This last column is also a bunch of links that go out to the internet. So for extensions and also these learn links, you're going to need an internet connection to actually use any of these. So these will also go out to a variety of different videos and other resources. Below these three columns is another area. And this area takes us off again to internet enabled locations. So these pieces here, if you're a developer, you might want to start here. These are kind of like little quick starts. If you want to know just what the new features in Flash Professional CS6 are, you can click on this link right here, so on and so forth. Aside from this, we have this little Flash Professional logo and what appears to be a blank area here. Normally, what this area is used for is for Adobe to actually transmit Flash Professional related news and updates to its users. So if Flash Professional was out as a release product right now, we'd be able to see news and, and feeds in regard to that. It's a communication channel that Adobe uses. Since I'm recording this before Flash Professional is actually released, we're not actually getting any information here yet. The last thing I'll mention is that if you don't ever want to use the welcome screen, you can just tick this little box off and say, don't show this again. And you'll get this little dialogue 
that tells you that if you want to enable it once more, that you can go to the general category within the preferences dialog to turn it back on. I like the welcome screen, so I'm gonna keep it on. So this has been a basic overview of the Flash Professional CS6 welcome screen.